What is a system? Logical breakdown view. What is logical? What it does. What is breakdown? What its parts are. What is a view? A way of looking at and understanding it simply. The logical view of a system is made up of its functions. When a system is broken down onto subsystems, they have functions too. Those functions interact with external system functions. So a hammer has hammer functions. What do those functions break down onto? Head and handle functions. And those head and handle functions interact with the external functions like wood, wall, nails and people functions. System functions are actually made of the subsystem functions. A system function is fully met by its subsystem functions. So whatever interactions the system function has with external systems, those subsystems will also have with those external systems. And subsystem functions can interact with each other as well. What external system functions can you see? When we're inserting a nail, what functions does a person have? Applying force. What functions does the nail have? Insert nail and remove nail. So the handle and the head of the hammer have functions as well that fulfill the hammer's function. What are the functions of the handle? Amplify force and to dampen force. And what are the functions of the head? To amplify force and store kinetic energy. The functions don't overlap subsystem boundaries. When a user wants to insert a nail, can you see the flow that happens? It goes apply force. The person applies the force. Amplify force. The handle amplifies it. And store kinetic energy. The head stores the kinetic energy as the hammer is rotated until it finally hits. The nail insert. Function. And the nail insert function has some recoil, so that goes back into the head, and it goes back into the hand, and it eventually goes into the human as well. And you can remove a nail by a similar path. The person applies the force, then the handle amplifies the force, and the head, this time, doesn't really store kinetic energy. It just amplifies the force a little more, and then what happens? The nail gets removed. When we look at that diagram, it can be a bit tricky to get a sense of what subsystem each function belongs to, which functions are allocated to which subsystem, and why a subsystem even has a particular function. It's easy to get lost and not really understand why a subsystem has a particular function. And it's hard to tell exactly how a high-level function is actually met by the functions that make it up. Here is a simplified logical context view. Can you see what it's made of? Person, hammer, nail. So those are the physical things. Those physical things are the blocks that we'll put our functions into. And can you see the functions of the hammer? Insert nail. Remove nail. So the P1 and the L1, those are to define a hierarchy for ourselves so that we don't lose track of which function and which subsystem we're actually talking about. We know that the hammer breaks down onto a head and to a handle. Do the functions also break down? Insert nail breaks down onto amplify force and store kinetic energy. And remove nail. Now, what does it break down onto? Amplify force, amplify force. So this is a function block diagram notation. We can see the function blocks, the subsystems, and we can see the functions that make them up. We can see what each subsystem does within the context of each level of the system. But to actually see how the functions decompose from high levels to low levels, we can look at the functional decomposition. So here again, we see that breakdown. The insert now breaks down onto amplifying force in the hand handle and storing kinetic energy in the head. The remove now breaks down onto amplifying force in the handle and further amplifying the force in the head. In this form of the diagram, as we go to the right of the diagram, it explains how things are done. And as we move to the left of the diagram, it explains why things are done. How do we insert a nail? We amplify the force in the handle and we store kinetic energy in the head. Why do we amplify force in the head? So that we can remove a nail. This is only part of the diagram because there are also interfaces. We'll complete the picture on the next slide. So you can see that there are context interfaces, the P1 to P3 interface and the P1 to P2 interface. That's the interface between the human and the hammer and the interface between the hammer and the nail. They break down onto the finer level interfaces and the flows also break down onto those finer level interfaces. There are new interfaces that are introduced as part of the hammer's functions. The interface between the hammer head and the hammer handle and those have flows as well. If you've been paying attention, you've learned functions are made of subsystem functions and flows between them. Flows are made up of subflows as functions further break down. A functional decomposition helps us keep track of how high-level functions are met and why low-level functions exist. And function block diagrams help us keep track of the functions and flows at each level. Next time, what is a system? Conclusion. Did you have a good lunch? I had a butter sandwich which was like this big. Was it yummy? Yeah, delicious.